Hey, hey, hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great day so far, but also hoping that we can improve it by a magnitude of several things at uh, once here on Adobe Live in the UK at midday. And don't forget, if you're watching us on YouTube, you could do that. You can go there and watch, but you can't get involved in the chat with our fabulous community, who we'll be giving a shout out to in just a moment. But once again, I'm joined by my very good friend, Gavin Campbell. How are you doing, Gavin? I'm very good, sir. Very good. Good to be here. I'm Let's glad go. to hear it. Yes, it's good to have you here again. Uh, in a minute, we'll talk about what we're going to be doing, I guess. But first of all, let's say hi to some of these fab people who join us so often. Kirsty, first in the chat today. Nice to see you, Kirsty. And Stephen's here. Sandrine. We've also got Oliver and Sean and Paul and loads. I'm just scrolling through. It's just loads. And Linda in here and galana hey or jalana it is galana isn't it yeah 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 and jane's in here hi jane fantastic all of the usual suspects and a few more to boot good to see everyone here thanks for joining us so gavin today today let us know what you're going to be doing we've got a, we've got a theme right for the two of us to work to we have and the theme today is love okay Thing is love, so we're going to be uh, illustrating how we feel about the idea of love, mm. how it looks to us in this present moment. Mm. Yes, I think it's something we can never be uh, too sure of, right? Is or uh, we'll never, never have enough of. Really, love is the good thing, brings us all together. Fantastic. So you're going to be looking at a typographic solution, is that right? For yeah, a bit of typography today. I'll, I'll get some vectors in through Illustrator, and then I'll put it through Photoshop and kind of create an, an image based off of the word love. Yeah, sweet. See Actually, you might want to turn your notifications off, by the way. I just noticed, mate, you've <laughs> got one popping up yeah, in the corner. Yeah. Just before we go to that whole full screen thing, it'd be a good idea to fix that. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. This pop-up, was it? Or, I didn't it was just a little pop-up down just off the taskbar with the oh sweet something or I don't know I didn't read it <laughs> I just thought notification I, I do it all the time don't worry it's all good all right okay so uh I thought today I would do something different in I'm gonna stick in Photoshop uh myself this time right and uh, I thought I'd try something uh different I think I'm gonna try channeling my inner Gavner that's what I'm gonna do I think okay I'm gonna give that a go sort of at the risk, I don't want to risk offending you, so I'm going to say sort of. There'll be some, there'll be hints of Gavner in there. That's that's what I'm saying. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Yeah, it's all drawing. It's no. Uh, I'm not montaging anything. So no need to worry. I've not been. <laughs> 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 There's nothing. Um... In there. No, no nasty surprises to be had. Uh... Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, right. that's good. And everything else is good for you. Yes, at the minute I'm an illustrator, by the way, just at the moment, just so you know. Um, I'm starting there also, but it's only because I want this one fabulous uh, shape that I've got here. So I guess if I start off, right, because while you're just getting things, yeah, uh, your ducks in a row, because unfortunately we had a little bit of a crash aroony, didn't we, just before we, uh, we did. just before we got rolling. So I'll give you a chance to resolve some of that while I get on with some stuff here. So uh, I've just gone ahead and drawn uh, this heart shape uh, here in Illustrator. I've got a very, very weird... Uh, extra bit of path going on there. I have no idea what that's to do with. In fact, I'm going to check and see if it's real. Uh, first of all, by yeah, it is real. There you go. Weirdness going on in my path arrangements. Let's just find out what that is and see if I can delete it uh, here because I want uh, a heart shape in mine, which is predictable, right? I guess because you know what with it being love and all. Um, that is very very strange. I have no idea why that's there. In fact, I'm going to delete that and I'm going to redraw the heart. I'm actually using a third party tool 
uh, to draw this. I'm using dynamic shapes from those lovely folks at the Stuart Graphics, on, of whom I wax lyrical lots and lots, but it's just a nice quick way uh, to draw a heart. And then I'm using their dynamic corners tool because I don't want the sharp pointy edges because just like at home, I'm, uh, I'm actually only allowed the round scissors at home. <laughs> they don't let me loose with the, uh, with the pointy ones. Is that, does that surprise you, Gavin? It doesn't surprise me at all. No, no, no. no it doesn't surprise anybody. <laughs> says, says quite a bit, doesn't it? Anyway, there we go. So I'm using Dunnett. Yeah, you see, I've still got that odd shape going up in the top there. And I do not know where that's coming from. Ooh, it's being generated by this corner. That's weird. Hey, hey, right. Anyway, that's fine for now. So I've got that. Great stuff. I'm just going to copy that to the clipboard and then make my way into uh, Photoshop where I've got a document here ready. Again, as I typically do for uh, Wednesday streams is I go to square format because that way I can post it uh, later on on Instagram or wherever I get the chance. Uh, you know, to do that. And uh, let's have a quick look at what people are saying in the chat as well. Uh, Tim's not allowed to be part of today's stream. All oh, right, his, his last one that I'm in. So uh, I'm always worried when I'm screen sharing with people that someone's going to send me something bad pop ups on the screen. It's a concern for everyone, <laughs> Oliver. Uh, fortunately, on a Mac, management of pop ups is, 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 is pretty good most of the time, apart from one particular application I can think of. Um, but yeah, Jane said, we did a stream where we illustrated love and hate, uh, lettered hate in a pink fluffy style. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember that one. Yes, that's Tim just reminding Jane about that. That was a really good thing. I remember it very well. I think you did that with Rachel Presky, I think, didn't you, or something like that? Anyway, moving on. Right, so I'm going to paste into my Photoshop document here, and I'm going to paste this as a path because I want to do something with it. So that will come in as a path like so of course if i want to make that larger not that it really matters because it's a vector shape okay i could do exactly that and while i've got that path active you can see it's here as a work path i'm going to go to the edit menu and come down and choose to define a custom shape there is a heart shape in fact there's a couple i think there's two or three heart shapes in the shapes uh, by default but they're all too pointy for me they're also very much like ones on playing cards so I'm just going to call this one Curvy Heart. There, like so. And let's have a quick look what there is in terms of uh, shapes. So I've got the Shapes panel here open and the Search dialog at the top. I'm just going to type Heart in there, or I will if it will actually let me type. There we go. Super good. And let's see what we've got. Yeah, so we've got playing card suits there in the shapes, in the legacy shapes of this old heart there. And so there's a few... Uh, things oh there's that heart frame and that see that's too pointy to me i don't don't like that it's more like an ivy leaf and there's mine down at the bottom which is just groovy and it's selected which is good uh, so i'm going to delete that work path i don't actually want that i'm going to go down to the panel just here and get rid of it because it's done its job for me and then i can use that in a bit so first off I'm going to get some color in here. Okay, some very, very, very dark color, near black, in fact, but with just a bit of blue in it, maybe just even a tiny bit of magenta, just that way, like so. So very, very close to black. I'm not worried about its printiness because it's not going to be printed. There we go. Super good. That's a good start. And I can see you're ticking away with some nice letter forms and some spirals just going there yeah. i reckon what typeface is that i recognize that i think this one is called let's have a look what is it what is it oh it's called is it joker it's called zoo yeah cabaret ah zoo cabaret yeah yeah cabaret Cab ca oh sorry sorry Cab cabaret Yes, cabaret. Now you can say it your way. I, I like it. <laughs> I, I, this is the thing. I frequently, deliberately mispronounce words, you know, because I find it funny to do that. <laughs> and um, so I might say, like, I've just drawn a love he art. Yeah. <laughs> and so, sometimes I forget that I'm not talking to people who know me very well. <laughs> I just go ahead 
and just say something like that hey ho you know it's just how it how it rolls yeah. uh the noun project should be a plug-in for photoshop there is one there is an extension sean's just mentioning the noun project do you do you ever use the noun project um no no, 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 no. it's a handy thing to have but they do do a panel for photoshop no. uh, that you can use to connect to that and all you need is your noun project account to get to it so that is the handy uh, <laughs> called you Jim for the first three months, says Jim. Gavin's Photoshop interface appears to have exploded all over his screen. Yeah, yeah. Gavin's layout. F nobody is more freaked out by the way Gavin has his layout than Tim. Uh, oh, you mean my panels? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, uh, no, no. It's whatever works for you, mate. Yeah. That's the thing. Oh, and by the way, I've got Illustrator overlapping it. That's probably what it yeah. is. That's what it is. So it looks crazy. I think, actually, I'm just going to pop to Illustrator because I think I created a layout uh, just for you. Oh, no, it's not on this machine. It's on another machine. I created one just for Tim. It's got, got panels everywhere. I like that. I love it. The, um, I'll tell you what I use for, for nice ornate fonts. You know, sometimes, I mean, sometimes there are good ones. There are some good ones on Adobe fonts. Yeah. But when I'm doing things, that I want that are really ornate like this, I use, I buy ones from Letterhead Fonts. They're pricey. Um, well, actually, saying, they're saying that. They're not pricey thinking about it. What's, what pricey? What's pricey? Yeah, well, I mean, pricey is buying like full Helvetica from um, uh, from whichever foundry it is, can't remember. Uh, Monotype. Buy full Helvetica from Monotype. Mm. It, it's, it's nuts money. It's like in the thousands. To buy the to buy the license for the whole lot, um, but uh, Letterhead fonts great. They they, uh, they quite often do deals like three for one hundred and fifty dollars, you know that sort of stuff. But otherwise, um, don't quote me on those prices, by the way. But it's, they quite often do bundles. But I have um, I have a series of browser tabs open for ones that I want to acquire, and then a little spreadsheet, and then I tick them off as I acquire them. I sort of think, oh, it's been an okay month. I'm going to treat myself to two more fonts from the head fonts because <laughs> I want all of them because they're so good <laughs> Yulia's in the chat hey Yulia ooh sharing her 36 days of type stuff and goodness fantastic that is nice oh and Sean's appreciative of the noun project stuff that's you are very welcome my friend very welcome yay hey oh and Emma's in the house so now let's get on with some work right moving on <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, so I'm just gonna build up and build. I've got, I've, I've got, yeah, a, do it. I've got a massive set of swirls that I've, yeah, I've managed to grab online. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep building this up until it looks like a, it's almost, almost part of a tree, like a branch. Yeah. So, so you're going, uh, you're going nicely, kind of Art Nouveau, I think. Is that, is that well, a, well, postmodern Art Nouveau, I, I think, with that, but it's, it's nice. Right, right, right. Yeah. I like it. I still love ornates. Oh, Emma wants to know what's going on in here. Whoopsie Daisy. Right. Yeah, we're just doing work, Emma. This is <laughs> this is how we do work. <laughs> oh man. So in mine, I want uh I want a spacey sort of background. So what I'm going to do uh with mine at the moment is I've got another layer which I am going to fill with black. So I'm tapping D on my keyboard to get the default colours and then filling a layout with black and then i'm going to do some noise stuff and whatnot to get to get me a fine 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 layer of noise that's what i want that's kind of handy exactly on that number groovy yeah. groovy groovy, groovy. oh doing a bit of warpage i like it yeah yeah bend that into shape that's you see that's that's one of the most asked for features in Illustrator, you know. Oh, the warp feature. To be able to, yeah, to be able to transform in the same way that you can in Photoshop. Right. Because they have a thing called envelope distort, but it's it's pretty crude. Yeah, it's, it's, <clears throat> well, it's tricky. Mm. But I mean, it's, it is a very, very, it's an interesting kind of problem yeah. for them to deal with. And if it was easy, they, they would have done it already. Mm. Um, but yeah, that is one of the most asked for things in Illustrator. Uh, yeah, and that's probably the reason why I'm using Photoshop because I, I wanted to manipulate that. Yeah, way. yeah, and to get those bends exactly the way you want them. Yeah. It, 
be a nightmare in uh, in Illustrator. Sandrine saying, I once told a client I had to buy the new Helvetica for their project. And they told me, buy them and put it on your invoice. The 500 pounds it costs. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, <clears throat> it is pricey, but you know, if you've got to own it, you've got to own it. Uh, Sean is saying, warping math is tough. Yes, it is. But don't we all like a bit of matrix algebra on a Wednesday morning? <laughs> <laughs> Say, you, you guys have got a very loyal loyal fan base mate. oh yeah 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 some of the some so some of the people in, oh alex is here hey alex so our french host and my friend alex is in here we're both uh we're both having a newsletter field day this week me and my friend alex we are because he's featured in the indesign newsletter so if you go to the adobe forums the adobe community help right and if you go to the indesign discussions they always highlight the monthly newsletter at the top Right. And Alex is in the um, in the InDesign one, and I'm in the Illustrator one. Excellent. Which is good. It's good fun. So, hey, Alex, bonjour, mon ami. It's good to see you. Hope you've been out and voted. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> ah, so good. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. How's the film club coming coming on? Yeah, got another one coming soon um i am i'm i'm actually filming next week so my schedule's too mad to do anything like that next week next week i'll be i'll be full on all week because we've got uh filming a new course oh uh, that for LinkedIn? yeah yeah so we're filming a new course and uh that has to be all packaged and manifested off on friday uh, well, in fact, it has to go. It has to trickle up because the producer will look at it from Tuesday onwards. Um, so we have to make sure that we're clear, kind of uh, by Friday morning, and then any adjustments that need to be made uh, are done by then. So it's a good game. The very good game. Yeah, so, they look at your stuff. You're busy oh, man. You? Busy man. Yeah, it's. Um, it's in catalogue building up there. Say again. You've got a very, you know, your catalogue building up nicely. <clears throat> yeah, well, we've just, we've actually just retired 12 of my courses. Uh, I think it is that, uh, so uh, courses expire after a certain amount of time. Oh. Right. And so we've just expired, I think, 12 of my courses. People who are still have the links to them can still do them, but they don't appear in the main feed uh, right. anymore because I think I've done. I think I've done 62 courses, I think. I think that's right. 62 in total. Yeah. But at the moment, at the moment, uh, so then we uh, then published, I had 51 published. But now, like I said, we're retired. I think it's 14. And I think my current is uh, 38. I think something like that. But it's not, it's good stuff. I've got. 1.7 million active learners on a paid platform, which is not bad. Wow. Really, over ac across all of my courses. So, but some, I'm very fortunate in that some of my stuff is used uh, for American design schools. They use it as part of their curriculum. Oh. So, which is nice. Excellent. Yeah. But thank you for looking. I'm glad you looked. Thank yeah, you. I'm glad to check, you know. I, I do. I always check out this stuff. Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, come on. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, so. What are we doing now? Let's find another nice swell. Ooh, I just made space. I have. I've made a space. <laughs> okay. I like it. Do 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 do. What have we got here? Design Ninja Internationals. Design Ninja. Hey. Oh, Yulia, you should have seen my talk at Present to Succeed last week. In fact, I might phone you later. I'll show you some of it. You'll crack up. <laughs> I spoke at a very techie conference last week, Gav. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Presented presentation designers uh, conference. Yeah. 
Were you, were you streaming or were you physically there? <clears throat> no, streaming, because it was in Bulgaria. Oh, right. And so everybody was streaming uh, from there. It was really it was nice. They had like a virtual pavilion and all of that stuff. It was really lovely. Um, although I couldn't hang around that much because I was on Hollybobs. I was already on holiday by that point. Okay. Anyway, I spoke at this thing and there's people there with all of their like super high tech uh, presentations and mine was in mine was <laughs> entirely in cardboard. <laughs> Did you say cardboard? Oh, yeah, I said cardboard. Cardboard. Yeah, cardboard. Like you know, packaging corrugated cardboard. <laughs> wow. Wow. It was balmy. <laughs> yeah, but I bet you had the best best response. I bet everybody was. Oh yeah, no, they loved it. They did love it, so it was good fun. But uh, how's your how's your NFT stuff going on? Yeah, it's good. I mean, I'm I'm releasing a new collection this month, and uh, it's on a platform called Nine Origin. Okay. I did use Open Seas originally, but there's a lot of issues with Open Seas. The site has a lot of issues, so I'm yeah. just I'm going to use Nine Origin for my next collection, and it's uh, it's it's going to be it's going to be amazing. And my community is growing very well. It nice. Is- He's growing nicely and got got some great guys on there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's great to be honest with you. Um, I, I focus more on on the Discord channel. I, I focus more on getting you know all the uh, the creative together, trying to create a really strong community. So that's that's very yeah. much. Oh, I like it. Yeah, so. You are actually giving me a perfect segue, you know, to uh, to mention that we have uh, our own Discord server uh, here on Adobe Live. Tim's just popping that into the chat right now, so you can come along and join us there. Can everybody join yours, Gav? They can. Yeah. They can. How would they? How would they go about finding it? How would it? To, so how would it be referred to? So on my Twitter, let me, let me just get my Twitter. Up. Let me get the old t- the old tweeter up. Right, let's get rid of that. that one window. So yeah, my Twitter is Gavner's World at Gavner's World. Gavner's World, fantastic. Oh. Uh, you can see the link. To my profile. Nice. My Discord. So jump into the Discord. Man. We have a very friendly community. Fab. And we talk about all sorts. Uh, yes. We have a good section for marketing and promotion. And we have a tutorial section as well. Yeah. Sweet. What else do we have? Hmm. Ooh, a tutor. I'm going to go and have a look at that myself. Yeah, we have an art related channel. We chat about art. We chat about all sorts conspiracies and all sorts in there. Conspiracies. Yeah, no, you are, you're um, messing with my head now. Conspiracy, I do, Tony. You're messing with my head. We, we chat about all sorts in there, you know. So, yeah, it's good. I mean, we're, we're international, so we the general chat pretty much goes around the clock. It's like 24-hour chat because we've got people logging in. Right. In Asia, you know, in, in the morning and then the Americans run at night and then, you know, the Europeans, obviously, my time. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, like I said, gonna check it out. Gonna check it out. Check it out. Yeah. So we do the we do the live Twitter Spaces on a Friday at eight thirty. Oh, it's the eight thirty a.m. or p.m. Uh, in the evening, eight thirty. Yeah. yeah, we have that. We have the uh, we talk about art related stuff. So. Oh. Yeah. I like. Do you, you're not TikToking yet, are you? You're not. You know what? I've got an account, but I haven't really got it going yet. You know, you set it up and then you, you say, I'm going to come back to it. And I'm, I haven't really come back to it yet. And you watch five minutes of people doing silly dances while balancing pasta on the head. Yeah, yeah. And you just think, I was, I was <laughs> going through that with one of the kids yesterday. I was going, right, explain TikTok to me. They said, well, it's like videos. I go, no, no, no. I know what that part. I said, just explain why this. And we went into TikTok and just scrolling through going, stupid, boring, stupid, stupid, boring. <laughs> yeah. So good. Uh, I, I've only recently set up an account because I couldn't get my head around it. 
So, but yeah, I think I'll, I'll slowly wind my way into it because I see a lot of artists doing well in there. The oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you the um, so my uh, my production and management advisors, yeah, yeah said, Tony, you need to be doing TikTok in 2022. Already, already very late yeah. onto this. And I go, okay, right. And I said, we're going to give you some examples for you to look at, and then you should, you know, start experimenting with TikTok. I'm like, yeah, okay, fine, yeah, great. I'm on there for like two minutes and I go no <laughs> but they did show me they said there's a woman on there um called Miss XL right right and I thought okay this intrigues me how are you going to blend what is probably arguably the world's number one spreadsheet application mm. with TikTok yeah right. But she actually, in fairness to her, she actually does a pretty right. outstanding job of uh, of doing it. So you know, crazy stuff. But I've I've had a look, you know, as you do. Yeah, I had to do some little quick animation videos. I had to quickly make some stuff up on um, on After Effects. Yeah. Yeah, but I wasn't sure how to go about it. I didn't want to do any live videos on myself. So I just thought, just animate my artwork. No. It is all good. So. Uh, and Yulia is saying. Uh, I just see all these TikTok videos on Pinterest. Yeah. And Tim's saying there is some useful content on TikTok. You just have to look for it. You do. Yeah, well, I've, that's I've, true. A lot of the Instagram posts are TikTok posts now, right? Yeah. You showed up in your feed. Yeah, well, they're all t- the reels. They're all t- they're tr- all trying to get in on the act of, of TikTok's gig because it's so massively successful. Yeah. You know, it's a big, big deal. Yeah, and... They have a funny way of showing you stuff. You just love to watch. I'm, I'm watching people make cakes and, you know, they're in their quick videos where they're making food and they, they'll make a like a stew in like, like 20 seconds and it just looks really intriguing. Now, is is that you who's who's doing the cake makey watching or is that Mrs. Campbell? Hi, Mrs. Campbell. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's actually me, you know, but that's yeah? me on YouTube. Yeah. I oh, know I'm getting old now because I like to watch cooking videos. I oh, know I'm getting up. I get, I get a buzz out. Of work. Oh, when you're getting really old, you like watching Repair Shop. <laughs> repair Shop on binge. <laughs> yeah. Right, you binge Repair Shop. <laughs> well, no, I tell you what, actually, you know my friend, right? He yeah. Showed me a video yesterday. Yeah. This so, uh, this guy in America, he's probably from Alabama, Mississippi. He's got a pop up twang. Yeah. He. He gets millions of viewers from going and knocking people's doors and mowing their lawns. Really? He, 11 million views. Well, just, oh, here we go. I'm going to go over and knock this door. And yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm like going to get me a yeah. hey, but I'll mow your yeah, lawn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Man, and I'm going to do that. He knocks the doors and he mows, you know, he'll, he'll pick out a lawn that hasn't been touched for like a year and a half. Yeah, it looks atrocious, and the whole idea is I'm gonna, you know, transform it, and you want you're intrigued to see what he's gonna make of the lawn. And I found myself, he, he showed me the video, and I found myself getting into it. And I was really, I was like, no, how's he gonna do that? Have you ever watched those really long videos of the bloke who spent a year alone in the woods and built himself? A, he started out with just a tent, and he built himself a log cabin by hand. I haven't. Have you ever watched those? I haven't. Oh. I can imagine you get sucked right in, yeah. Well, I ha- unfortunately I had a period uh, at the beginning of last year where um, where I was ill and I had to and I was I had to stay in bed. Mrs. Harmer made me stay in bed for two days. Um, I had a, a visit to hospital and then I had uh, had to go and you know like recuperate for for a couple of days. And 
I just put YouTube on for some of the time. Whenever I was awake, I just had YouTube on, and this thing just came along in the. You know, I was just watching whatever popped up next in the feed, and it was this. I was watching people printmaking to start off with. Yeah. And then this thing just popped into the feed with this bloke building a log cabin, and I ended up getting sucked right into it. And it's like hours long, you know, it's just mad, but really good. Proper adventure, right? Really satisfying to watch. Yeah, I can imagine. You know, I can imagine. It's, uh, oh, man. Yeah. You know what I admire the most? It's just the bravery of someone going out in, in the middle of nowhere. And you, oh, yeah. If you put yourself in their shoes, there's nobody there but themselves. Yeah, and I start to question myself. I think, well, could I could I do that? Could, would I would, could I have the, the the courage to go out there, mm. be myself on a camera, and just film? It's madness, right? It's crazy. It uh, it would take you know, and the the fair play to the guy who who did this. He got proper skills, proper you know woodcraft skills, and he was a really excellent nat- natural carpenter. Yeah. So, you know, it's all uh, all good stuff. Um, I am messing around with some difference clouds at the moment. And what I'm doing with mine is I am holding down the option key when I select. Do you ever use clouds and difference clouds? Do you ever use those in your effects? No. No? Oh, well, if you ever do, here's a tip for you. If you hold down the alter option key when you're choosing to run that render filter, yeah, it it kind of strengthens the contrast between the things. So it's kind of, you get a more interesting result. Okay. Yeah, so it's very good. Keep that in mind. Yeah, and I'm just keeping going until I see something that I kind of like with it, which for argument's sake, I might just invert that. Ooh, I like that. That's good. And then I'm going to blend this down with the content underneath. Yeah, I think so. What what colour scheme are you going for? Uh, at the moment, I have chosen a very specific blue and a very specific yellow. In fact, while we were chatting uh, a while back, I actually Googled um, the colours that I was after. Right. So, and uh, then started working with them. So, I'm just trying out a few things, so just for the way this blends will it blend says tim <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of interesting it's a bit star trek i think we've been over that territory before haven't we is it you know star trek versus star wars if i remember correctly you're a bit more star warsy aren't you you're sort of mate i'm a hundred percent star wars there, yeah, you... there is zero star trek in my blood no oh yeah one of my best friends He's a die-hard Star Trek fan. And I mean, die-hard. Oh, man. I watch Star <laughs> Trek when I'm fl- on flight. So I've got, like, classic Star Trek. I've got classic Star Trek. Oh, you're a proper Star Trek. Trip. Every episode of classic Star Trek that's ever been aired. Serious. Yeah, is on my iPad. Right. And I watch these old episodes while I'm, while I'm flying. And because uh, I just like it, I don't watch you know, I don't watch it from start to end, not like 11 hours worth of Star Trek, but I do watch these episodes. And I thought this is kind of a niche uh thing that I'm into, really. And yeah. then I was working with uh, a lovely person called Toby, right. um, and she uh, it turns out <laughs> does exactly the same thing. Ah. So we're like kindred in in our in our in our Star Trekness. We always attract like-minded people, don't we? There you go. You see, drawn together, six thousand miles apart, but drawn together by this common fascination with a nineteen sixties science fiction television show that changed everything. Let's face it. We wouldn't have doors that went shook, shook without somebody seeing that on Star Trek in the first place and thinking, wouldn't wouldn't doors be cool? Yeah. If they actually did that, you know. But did you know that Quentin Tarantino was contemplating making a new Star Trek? Yes, I did know that. Yes, and Chris Pine is returning uh, back to the role of Captain Kirk as well, which so is nice. That the original Captain Kirk's run about? 
No, the original Captain Kurt was William Shatner. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah who incidentally uh, I share a birthday with. Oh. Uh, strangely enough. Um, the uh, His birthday, same day as mine. But no, he's because he's 90 something now, I think. What? He's. Um, uh, yeah, we only share the date part, not the not the number of years. <laughs> the uh, just to be clear, um, no, Chris Pine. So the Star Trek movies that were made with J.J. Abrams, yeah, um, a good few years ago. Uh, so Star Trek, Star Trek Beyond, all of that. Uh, Chris Pine was was Captain Kirk <clears throat> in those, oh, okay. and he made an excellent job of uh, of doing it. I think. Okay. And um, yeah, and he's uh, apparently coming back. He did say he wasn't going to do it anymore, uh, but uh, I've heard that he's coming back. So that's the uh, let's go on. Stuart's a trekkie. Stuart is a trekkie. Which Stuart? Stuart are a trekkie. Mister Fickling. Are oh, you really? Uh, where's Captain Kirk? Says Sandrine. Yes, Sandrine. I am with you <laughs> on that one. Where is Captain Kirk? Uh, sp not splodging a spawn, spiz energy, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Okay. Do do do. Not the split screen on me. Too many grids. Say again, mate. Sorry. That split screen I've got going on there. Is he? Is he? Is, he, is Tim split? Oh, what? Tim's got both of us. Yes, spread across the screen. That's a good thing. Uh, I want to actually escape that. I want to try and transform together. There we go. That's better. And if I can, that's going to need me to smart object those, I think. Do that's not going to work. Hmm. That's still not going to work. I think I'm going to have to go to something like overlay and then blend that down. I think it's still going to go crazy. Do, 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 do. I think I'm going to change my color palette. I don't want to go with the yellow and the green. To change. Nice. Let me turn those off. Thursday and Friday is going to be great weather. It looked like it, it, I think it was like 18, 18, 19 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be good. I'm going to Scotland on Tuesday, you know. Are you? What are you doing up there? Little man's playing, the play's playing against, um, Rangers and Celtic. So, oh wow, yeah. So, they're gonna go up there for about three days, so that'll be good. And then we're off to Portugal in June again. It's football, nice Lisbon. Never been there before, so that, that, that'll be interesting. No, me either, but I'm doing that also. Where about you going? I'm going to Lisbon also in June this year. No, not in June, but this year. I'm going to see my new friend over there. I am. I made a new friend. Okay. Yes. Very good. Excellent. So, yeah, that should be good. I've heard great things about Portugal. Yeah, me also. Although I'm a, I am a fan of the south of France. I think yes. Have you been to, you've been to the south, yeah? I have, yes, yes. Been to, um, I, I was in Cannes. So it wasn't the film festival, it was the uh, the advertising, the media festival. Right. I was working with Microsoft at the time. And it was, uh, they, had a, they had a big, massive marquee by the beach. It was great. It was great. Play. It was great. Yeah. We did a cool Microsoft gig together once. Excel. Yeah, Excel. Yeah, we did. So it was the same team of guys. It was that same team that got me over in, in Cannes. Oh, really? Yeah, it was Caroline. Do you remember Caroline? Caroline. Vaguely. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I know that I've got a picture of myself with some of, the, some of, the, some of that team. All right, so when, when my wife made the cake, yeah, yep. 
it was a lady sitting on top of the cake with blonde hair. Yeah. Yes, I do. It was that yeah, was yeah, yeah. That was that was hair on the cake. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But she was in that top tier bit of the stand, wasn't she? she yeah, she's upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah that. but all the I've got a picture of myself with the team that were in the blue shirts down on the floor with us. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's good fun though, man. It's good fun. You know what's funny as well? Huh? Years later I found out that Caroline Yeah. Had a she went to university with my brother and she actually lived in the room opposite him in, in the dorms. No way. Well, well eh? Yeah. Yeah, they, they were mates long before I knew her. Back in back in 2000, 2001. So she went to university in Banner, North Wales. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My bro, my big bro, yeah. Wow. Yeah, small world. How many brothers do you have? I have just the one. Just the one. Any sisters? No. No. I've got one of each. Well, actually, no, that's not true. Uh, I've got two brothers and one sister. Um, I've got one half brother, but we don't really do halves in my family. So Call I've got brother. two. Sorry? Oh, you don't do halves? No, we don't do halves and steps and all of that stuff. We don't do it. It's just brother and sister, right? Yeah, it's just brother and sister, yeah. So I've got two brothers. I was thinking about the people I grew up with, but the uh, I've got two brothers and a sister. Right. So and I keep saying that sometimes. It's not, you know, that... I keep saying one, uh, one of each, and I haven't. I've got two and one. Yes, there's my shape that I had earlier, and I'm going to draw a shape, a layer. The message in my um, in my piece of work here is not going to be difficult to decode <laughs> at all. But yes, Barry uh, older than me, and uh, Michael younger than me. And my sister, Pauline, younger than me. He's probably the Cockney boy, is he? Uh, ish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah all, all three of them are. Um, they, all, they all speak like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, tone. How's it going? <laughs> I haven't seen it for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you went to university, ain't it? They're lovely. Did they, they grow up in London or? No, um, they grew are in and around Stevenage, Hertfordshire. Oh. Yeah, but I mean that's all London overspill, right? So it's, uh, but they do talk, they do talk like that. They really do. My brother is especially, especially Cockney. <laughs> it's just oh, very, very, very Cockney. He be. Uh, I need a different colour that I haven't got in this style yet. So what I'm going to do is cancel out of there for a minute and make that my foreground colour and make a note of 0057B7. I'm just going to write some stuff down analog style. Make sure I know that's a B. There we go. Not a six. It goes horribly wrong. <laughs> And then this one is, uh, I've been trying to understand the animated baby in that fairy advert for over a year now. Yeah, that's that sort of, that, that sort of thing, Sandrine. That kind of thing. No more Mr. Nice Baby. Just out of interest, where's everyone from? Where are you regulars from? Are they from Europe or? Oh, uh, well, no, we've got quite a lot who are in the UK, but from Europe. So Sandrine uh, lives, I think, down near Brighton, that sort of way. Um, and she uh, is French by birth. Okay. Uh, we've, in fact, actually, uh, we've got quite a few. So we've got uh, Steve, who's, I don't think he's in the chat today, but quite often. Uh, in the chat, he's from New Zealand, and he he actually dials in from New Zealand, right. which is crazy. Uh, we have John who dials in from the US sometimes. Um, Julia, of course, is uh, from Magdeburg in Germany, Magdeburg with the Puppet Museum. 
Uh, <clears throat> yep, Sandrine is from near Brighton. Uh, Sean Kosal is an American in Germany. Okay. There you go. So that's uh, that's Sean's Sean's gig. Let us know where you come. Tim, of course, comes from uh, comes from Germany. Uh, Kirsty's from East Sussex. Uh, an Englishman in New York. <laughs> that was a classic uh, song, you know. That's Sting. 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 It is. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oliver, who I met in person uh, the other week, is in North North Hants, but from Greater Manchester. Uh, Sandrine is from the People's Republic of Wirral. <laughs> so, <laughs> the People's Republic of Wirral. Oh man, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Oh dear. Right, well, I need some numbers. Do, 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 do. And. Go to this one. Uh, see if we've got anyone else. Uh, Englishman in New York, love that song. Yes, Russell says hi, Tony. Hi, Russell. Stuart is in Ely, in Cambridgeshire. I was born in Ely. Yeah, I was born in Ely Hospital. Hey, there you go, small world. I was born in Adam Brooks. You were born in Adam Brooks for real? Yeah, for real. Yeah. Just down the road from me, then. I know. Huntingdon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I um, well, Adam Brooks is is on the edge of Cambridge, but I know you were you grew up in Huntingdon. Oh, St Ives, St Ives. Yeah, St Ives. Yeah, and the um, uh, because we talked we talked about this a while ago because I moved up to Cambridgeshire at the end of 2017, uh, and that's where I live now in Cambridgeshire. Adam Brooks Hospital. I'm sure my mum used to work there when I was a kid because she was a nurse. I'm sure, she worked at Adam Brooks Hospital. I'm sure of it. Oh man, wouldn't it be freaky if your mum, mind you, yeah, you never know, mate. I'm you sure never so. know. That would be so freaky if, yeah. But your mum delivered me, or whatever that would be. <laughs> <laughs> She'd have had to be a very young nurse, mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, stranger things have happened, mate. Stranger things have happened. I don't know. Uh, Easy. Wow. So I'm messing with gradient stuff here. Uh, there are no prizes for guessing what I'm drawing, by the way. None at all. There we go. And doof. One more. Hmm. I need to move that up a little bit. So I am going to work it out by eye to about there. So 56. So I know to click on the other color stop now and dial that one up a bit uh, to 56. 55 is re rejecting 56 from me. So I will take the yellow one. This is where it gets tricky. I need to back one away. I'm doing, I am. I'm doing it upside down, Tim. <laughs> I can change that in a minute. I'm gonna. Re, I'm gonna reflect it. Do you know that's not the first time I've done that? Tim's just reminding me, by the way, that the Ukrainian flag is blue on top, which is quite right. It's like sand and the sea, isn't that the way I normally think of it? But for some reason, I tend to start with the gradient this way, and I think that's because I do it in Illustrator so much. I just mix a gradient. I don't particularly care about how it's being applied. And then if it's not the right way around, I just reverse it afterwards. So, but I do appreciate your, um, your help there, Tim. Thank you very much. I'll fix that. So we'll get this one up to 50. What did I say? 57, I think on there. And we'll bring this one down to 57 or well, that sort of ballpark. Oh, switched over onto the other uh, point just there. And then I should get a nice sharp line. Super good. There we go. So I could have done this in a number of other ways, but I decided to do it with a gradient overlay. Uh, I also want to add an inner shadow uh, on mine. So 
Uh, in fact, I'll do not an inner shadow. I will do an outer glow, but on the inside, I reckon. Uh, no, an inner glow. Good Lord, Tony. There we are. That's what I'm after, inner glow. Make sure it's from the edge, not the center. And go for something that's kind of the opposite of those two, around that sort of area there. Something like that, purpley. Yeah, Kirsty showing me the Ukraine flag in the chat. Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> the, uh... when, I, when I thought of the theme of love, I was thinking about the war, you know. That's actually what triggered it, to be fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, I gathered as much when we when we spoke that uh, that that was where you were going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I've got nothing wrong with that. That's that. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. So you know, it's uh, we're all good, mate. We're all good on that score. And I think, especially at times like this, this is when we need to be spreading, spreading the love. To be honest, and thinking about being more loving than uh, than otherwise, I'm just changing mine here to linear light, and I might have to choke that off a little bit. I think it's still not great in there. No, 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 no. Yes, reduce the size and do that. Sweet. Nice. Uh, I saw something a minute ago just in the chat. Uh, Stuart asking me, I'm still local. Yes, mate. Now I'm country living. I'm only three miles out of town. Um, but that's it. That's, that's where the farm is, is outside of town. So... Uh, Gareth Williams, Scotland, but Welsh. Yay. Ever lived in Wales, Gavin? Or I haven't, but I'm a big fan of the north of Wales because every year, well, we've, every year we've started going to, um, to Snowdonia. I love it up there. I think it's great. Mm. Yeah, it's great. It's great. It's just, it's just great. Yes, I'm a fan too. I like it. I like it lots. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah. I lived in, um, so Monday to Friday, well, actually, it was Sunday night to Friday afternoon, if I'm if I'm being absolutely accurate. I used to live in South Wales, Pom mm. uh, just on the edge of Cardiff, because I used to work there. Four and a half years I worked there. And uh, so I used to travel on a Sunday night up there, or, you know, late Sunday afternoon get to my hotel i lived in a hotel for four and a half years and then uh yeah oh cardiff eh? yeah the diff yeah in fact my son played against cardiff yesterday did he came up to walls the cardiff boys the welsh boys they're tough they are mate oh, yeah they're tough mate they were bad as they were eh? yeah I think they reckon that us English boys are a little bit soft, you know. Is that what it is? So I think they, they, there's a perception of us being a little bit soft. And, you know. Right. I mean, even the Northerners think we're Southern softies, don't they? You know, they, they do say that. Yeah, it's, the, it's this odd, oddness of that whole division business. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Just absurd. I've got the bit now. I'm I'm actually approaching the bit where I'm actually going to get nervous about what I do next. And also, is Annika Argwall in the chat? I don't think she is because right now she would be screaming save because I haven't saved in like the whole time I've been here. And I'm also just going to check yours. Oh, you have. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so I'm going to save at this particular point. I think I'm just going to drop this down on my uh, desktop. Um, there we go. In saving every 30 seconds, eh? Are you? Well, I can't. You, well, look what happened just before we started to stream. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> exactly the reason why I do it. Yeah. 
just never. Yeah. I, do you know, I'm only this sloppy with saving when live. Yeah. yeah. I'm normally, I'm I'm kind of on it because, you know, I don't want to be redoing, <laughs> redoing the stuff I was working on earlier. I'm Kirsty in the chat saying, we love you, Ukraine. We do. And Dia saying prayers for Ukraine. That's, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Stuart's saying that's called out in the sticks here. You know where up where I where I live it is. It is man. It's crazy. Tim saying save. <laughs> Jane went to boarding school down south. I was asked if my dad, a coal miner, had tin baths in front of the fire. Well, I've been down a coal mine, Jane. Just one time, I went down a coal mine. Again, South Wales, actually, good experience to do. And I quite often say to people, and people go, oh, yeah, but it's hard to do that. You know, some people, Gavin, you must see people sometimes that are working in like Photoshop or Illustrator or InDesign, and they've got a process which isn't dead straightforward. You can't do it at one click. And they go, oh, it's so hard. I'm just going, you know, it is, and you might have even heard me use this expression before. I say it is not like going down into the cold, dark earth and fetching back coal. And that's the barometer I use for on the scale of things that are very hard to do. I think that is a very, very hard thing to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, or even even like you were saying before, when you, you know, back before Photoshop, yeah. sketch things out and, you know, yeah. use protractors and all sorts. Yep. Oh, type rule, you know. Yeah, typometer. I've got a typometer in a drawer over there. People were in dark I, rooms for hours processing yeah. one pho photograph. Yep. And you know, whatever came out came out. Yep. Imagine. And if you made a mistake, it was a chain going right the way back up to Crazy Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, I think I've just made my um. I just moved my heart there and the gradient. Ooh. Now here's, I'm going to show you, this is a learning point here. I'm on screen, aren't I? So I'll show you all. Just watch what happens with my heart for a second. I want to move this up a little bit because at the moment it is pretty much dead center on the screen and I don't want it to be dead center on the screen. You see that? If I move it up or down, you can see how that's changing like so. And why that's doing that is, is worth you knowing, just in case you don't know uh, why this is happening. Right? If I go to the gradient overlay that I've got in my layer style here, I haven't got this option checked, align with layer. Yeah. When I do that, right, you'll notice that just moved just a tiny bit there because its position changed to align to the actual object. And now if I move that, you can see how it moves up and down. So it is worth knowing that if you didn't know it before. But there you go. Oh, and Jane went down a mine as well. Once was enough. Uh, Oliver's been down a coal mine in Wales. I think it was north though, yeah. Uh, yeah, get some drawing coal. <laughs> yeah, you can draw with coal. Draw with anything, really. Burnt sticks. Uh, yeah, Dad was over a mile down. Oh, my word. And did it almost every day for 35 years. That's crazy. 35 years. Yeah. I went to I went to college uh, near, near, well, in and near a mining town back in the days of unrest uh, with miners. I remember that very, very well. The miners' strikes. I mean, um, I'm not loving that uh, nebula behind there. I think I might want to do something slightly different to that. change the way that mixes i'm just having a cycle through i think i prefer one of those harsher things there right i said i was going to try channeling my inner gavna <laughs> it's me taking a big breath <laughs> i just had an idea and i thought oh, i wonder if i could make that work well we're going to find out now <laughs> I gave it sort of I did give it a whirl through and thought yeah I think that'll work but I've got no guarantees that it's going to work 
Um, mining cola would be fun. <laughs> With some Mentos. <laughs> Wicked. Wicked. You know what I want to do? I know you can go you can go digging for uh, crystals and stuff like that in the Peak District. Yeah. I'm for that. I'm, I'm into all that sort of stuff. I do. Are you? I'm surprised you've not been hanging out down Glastonbury because they have... They're all over that stuff down there. Yeah. Oh, man, you can't... You can't go very far without bumping into people who are into crystals. Yeah. uh, Yeah. I'm drawing a path, making sure it is a path as well. Yeah, I lived in the Glastonbury area for 11 years. My gosh, you've got around, haven't you? Yeah, I've been on the planet a long while, man. Got around, man. You know? So, and I'm cool with it. Uh, it, On a tangent, because that I am well known for the tangents, when I was living in that area, a friend of mine, Rachel, her dad worked for Clark Shoes, right? Because they're big in that area, street in Somerset, Clark Shoes. Um, Basically, well, they were the, they were street for a long time. Um, he said he was chatting one day. Uh, we were around their house, and um, was talking about when he worked at Clark Shoes. And he said every day for the whole time he worked there, which was something like forty years, he would go and sit outside in the same place and have a cheese sandwich and an apple for his lunch. Every day. For how many years? 40 years. And I just I just thought I've got to keep doing the stuff that's different. <laughs> I can't uh, oh no 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 no. I'm not I'm not set up to cope with doing that sort of level of repetition at all. No no no. <laughs> cheese as well the same cheese and every day yeah yeah the same thing every day and he wasn't joking he's being really straight you know yeah and like it was, like it was perfectly normal <laughs> right. which i kind of guess kind of it is but you know hey ho oh dear uh just catching up with the chat tim saying there are easier ways to get drawing cold tony there are oh, it's true tim go to the go to the peak district and go to the Durban pencil museum that's one way uh, that's also the place where you can reverse the gradient. Thanks, Tim. I do appreciate you, by the way, um, just giving me a nudge in my ear. I think I would have noticed by the time I'd finished the gradient and actually applied it, but I still appreciate the nudge in my ear. So thank you very much. Yeah, to make sure it's the correct flag. Uh, Umicorn says, I haven't been down a mine, but went down some caves in the south of the Netherlands. Oh, so cold. Caves? If, I thought that caves so there, there's some great caves in Cheddar Gorge in Somerset um, I thought that caves below a certain point maintained a temperature of about 11 degrees Celsius that's what I thought but anyway I don't know but I could be wrong somebody can look that up for me and let me know it's just in case it you know if I'm on the like the chase or something like that I could have that piece of knowledge in my head <laughs> Uh, D is saying 40 years. Whoa, I can't even stay in my house for one month straight. <laughs> I just want a lot of adventure and journey. Absolutely. And that's the best way to be. Yulia is saying, I would have noticed when it had been printed and I held it in my hands. Of course you would have noticed. Well, I would have noticed by the time I got to that point. In fact, it's the wrong way around now. I didn't reverse the gradient. You see, there we go. I've said, there's me saying I would have noticed <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we are. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, I'm going to have to adjust that gradient because they're out of whack for me. And now I'm having to think backwards. I'm going to go 50 50. I think that way I, I can't be far wrong. 
And then when I hit OK, that should then... Why isn't that reversing? There we go. Now it's the right way around. I reverse the reverse. Moving on. Yeah. I do appreciate all the help with the flag, by the way. <laughs> Don't know why I was so challenged by that. You know, moving on. I'm going to save this path because I might need it. Have you ever been to a part of Europe, like Ukraine or Russia? Or uh, bizarrely, <laughs> bizarrely, in 2020, yeah. we were meant to go to Kiev because I was going to photograph Chernobyl. Right, right. And then, of course, 2020 became what 2020 was. Yeah, 2021 yeah. was no better off. They started to rearrange things in 2021 and then stopped rearranging things in 2021. And then at the beginning of this year, they offered us a refund. Yeah. We said, no, 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 we think we'll be all right to go. Uh, wrong. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that one's, I think, shelved for well into the... Well, I don't think I'll ever go now. But I've never been I've never been to there. Um, I think the closest I've been to that would probably be the Czech Republic. Uh, I think closest to that i speak little bits of, I, I i found out i'd speak some russian and i found out uh the other week that because russian and ukrainian are different but so just slight differences even in even in thank you uh in uh, russian is spasivi uh so just a slight vowel change at the end in ukrainian yeah. but uh, i'm not going to go learning uh ukrainian just at the minute but yeah. Uh, does Tony not realise the flag colours are still upside down? <laughs> that that was posted a little while ago, by the way. I was just merrily chatting away, Jane, and and there was at, at some point, and you can wind this back. At some point, I said in there, I think I would have noticed when I applied the gradient. I could have sworn I fixed it while I was there. I'm going to watch this back later and see where that went wrong. But anyway, we're we're fixed. But that's why Tim said in my ear they're still upside down. So uh, there you go. I'm just going to make a coffee and keep my nose out. No, no, I appreciate it. And it's funny if it, get, you know, it's amusing if it goes wrong. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. If I've if I'd managed this far in my career, right, and got you know, and I've I've made plenty of mistakes. I've managed this far. Yeah, I think I'm cool with with that. That's way far and away not the worst error I've ever made. Yeah, you put stuff down in front of an art direction, and they go, mm, yeah, that's a pint glass, Tony, full of beer, and you're meant to be drawing a carton of orange juice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that That is a fictitious uh, uh, error, by the way, just to be clear. Oh, I like that bird on the end of that E. And I do like the trail at the side of the V as well on yours, Gavin. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Uh, Umicorn is saying, I'm right. It's a constant temperature of 10 degrees C. You must have dressed like, because remember it very, very cold. Well, the thing is, um, Umicorn as well, and just to say that, because I've been down in a place called Speedwell Caverns as well, and for some reason, despite the fact it's a long way um, down, it's there's a lot of air moves through there. And if the air is moving through quick enough, you, the chill from air movement will, will make it appear cooler but the standing temperature of air underground is, is supposed to be around 10 or 11 degrees uh, from there so i like it but it's not quite what we were going for that's the stuff oliver that's the art director stuff that you want right i'm going to try something now and see if i can make it work this time and it's going to involve the mixer brush tool and i am going to i've got airbrush effects on Let's get a suitable brush for what I want, which will just be thing round. I might try a hard round to start off with. And let's see if I can sample this chunk here now. Uh, let me go to custom. And do I need load the brush after each stroke? And I can't remember. I don't think I do. And I don't want clean the brush after each stroke. Let's try and sample that there we go <clears throat> so i've sampled from the center of the flag so now i've got a brush stroke that will work like so so it's, it would have been a good point 
for me to have the flag the right way up right now. <laughs> it would have gone horribly wrong uh, otherwise. Not pixel art, but panel art. Oh, I'm missing something here, I think. I've been down the Blue John Mines in the Peak Districts. I think that might be where Gavin meant earlier. Oh, right, okay. That might Is that what you meant, Gavin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Fabulous. Tim always keeps a fan running, so he's cooler. And Sean, ah, that's what the panels is about. Sean's saying, I can't stop looking at the panels. Anyway, right. So uh, how big a brush am I going to want? I'm going to use the bracket keys here, I think, and go out. Maybe something like that. We'll give that a try. I am going to go to my paths here and choose to stroke the path with the mixer brush tool. I'm going to simulate pressure. Let's see what happens. It will take it a minute. Ooh, that's interesting. Doesn't appear to be simulating very much pressure, though. I'm going to change the brush type. So I'm just going to undo that. And I think I know why. I needed, I think I might need one that reacts to pressure, even though it's not being applied with pressure. Because I've definitely had it tail off before. So we'll try that again. And I'll need to just sample those colors again. So I want it to work like toothpaste. <clears throat> Let's give that a go. Oh, that's much better. And there is the pressure. So that's interesting that even though it says simulate pressure, I'm using a brush that will respond to that. I guess what it does is it just throws loads of input values into it. Oh, who knows? Based along the length of the stroke. Uh, I'm going to do that again. So resample. I think when I tested this out, I did it about five times before it worked the way I wanted it to work. That's getting a bit better. So I've got some yellow moving up into the side there, and I want some yellow across the top just here as well. So I'm going to persist. That would make a nice card, Gavin. Like a greeting card, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that'd be cool. It's taking it a while to calculate these strokes. I don't know if you've noticed that, but just up in the top here, I'm getting... The stroke is being drawn after, way after I've, I've actually done it. I suppose I'm a bit, bit computationally intensive, which is a great word to say on a Wednesday. Uh, panels are what you make them, like if you want them floating or not. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm not mad for the stuff. Oh, Andreas in the house. Guten Tag. I think the 5% load is too low. Ooh, that's an idea, Tim. See, that's me being lazy, right? Because I'm not checking those things because on my laptop, I just go with what the way it's set up on my laptop. Probably got to tweak the settings. Tim's doing some of my job for me. Brilliant. Yes, there do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's working lots and lots of better. I'm going to try that again. Each time resampling that, and I'm open to it being slightly different on each pass. I think also, if I try very wet, heavy mix, I'm open to trying that as well. Let's give that a go. Yeah. That's definitely getting there. That's working. Now 15 minutes. Yes. Indeedy. Let's get this done. 
Yeah. Oh, in fact, Tim, I don't know. I didn't notice that in the chat, but you were saying wet and mix settings two props. Yeah. yeah. Um, the I could try backing off the mix. Uh, and the wet settings are already at 100%. Loads high. Let's give that a go. At the moment, I'm just quite happy to, to just play with it. Yeah. Something I can't do here in, um, in Photoshop is I can't reverse the path, I don't think which would change the way that the stroke was applied if it was going in the opposite direction. Uh, Tim's a nin ninja with lots of tricks up his sleeves. He has. Uh, you are unwise to lower your load. I'm not lowering my load, did I? Oh, uh, sorry, I did, yeah. I'm unwise to do that. Okay. It's returned, General Kenobi. Nice to see you here, by the way. I think you join us for um, the Maddie Bellwall streams, I believe. pretty sure i've seen you in there yeah that's that's looking very nicely plasticky which is maybe where i'm going with that now i'm going to change the blending of it in a moment and then i'm going to put some dust in dust <laughs> i'm gonna go with a harsh blending mm -hmm. i think Da -da 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 -da. Let's have a look at that. And then back that off a little bit. I'm going to turn that path off for a sec. Smart object that. It's way too hot. Where are you at now, Gavin? I'm just, I'm just thinking how to, how to highlight the O. I'm literally work on the O. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna work on the O for about five minutes. Put some swirls on there. Yeah, a bit more depth. We have about ten minutes. So and we do. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oof, no, that's not going to work. I thought that um, blend might actually crunch up a little bit from there. No, definitely not doing that. Cancel. But the other bits are working all right. Let's get some gradientness going on. Uh, so I'm going to cycle through the gradients here. By the way, here's a top tip for you. You can use the bracket keys, which we, most of us know we can change our brush size with them. Did you know you can cycle through your gradient taps? With them as well, forward and backwards, like so, using the two bracket keys. Just there, which is handy to know. Back to doing gradient types again. Gavin's illustration is beautiful. Oh, there you go, Gav. Thank you, my friend. Thank yeah. you. Join Tim and he will complete your training. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. I love it. I'm actually, General Kenobi, I'm actually using the mixer brush on purpose because I don't use it very often. I'm trying to be more friendly with the mixer brush. That's what I'm after. This is it's my opportunity to, to do some uh, to do some changing around there and make friends with something that I'm not habitually friends with. So let's have a quick look at that. That's the kind of stuff I want. Almost there, almost there. You almost there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just adding dust, man. Dust. Dust. 
V15. And then gradient J. G. Those birds are the cherry on top, Gavin. That's what Dia's saying. Yeah, thank generous can have it. No worries, Tony. Just throwing some Star Wars references for fun. <laughs> Learning a lot from you guys. Oh, Star Wars, Star Wars people in the house, plenty of. Quickly adding now, come on, what have we got, what have we got? Feels like we've been doing this for about 45 minutes, not an hour and a half. It's gone quick, hasn't it? It, it literally does feel like 45. Yeah. It's gone very quick. Certainly has. I dare say we'll be back together again before you know it. Dun, 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 dun. I love the General Kenobi. I like the pirate in the dodgeball movie. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh, I liked that, man. I haven't watched that in ages. I think I'm going to watch that. Dodgeball. Never seen it myself. Have you not? Oh, God, no, that's well worth a watch. I can't remember what the two names of the gymnasiums are. There's two gymnasiums playing against each other. It's very funny. Very, very funny. If you can dodge a wrench, that's 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 the thing. throwing a wrench at somebody. Uh, that's very very funny. I love that. <laughs> Doris is loving the blue and yellow flourishes. There you go. Wrenches, wrenches in the chat from General Kenobi and Dia. Fantastic. Duck Dodge Dive. Man, I'm going to so watch that at the weekend. Uh, it's Long Easter weekend. So thinking about that, actually, there's no Adobe Live on Easter Monday. So there's nothing going on on Adobe Live on Easter Monday. On Tuesday, we have Illustration with Vidan. And on Wednesday, it's Earth Day with Rachel Hannah Creative. Excellent good stuff so you've got that good stuff to look forward to uh those of you in here that watch my own stream on fridays even though it's good friday this week there will be uh there will be a stream from me this week i did say i was going to move it to thursday but then changed my mind I moved it across to uh to then oh man i know what i didn't do i'm gonna see if i can do that right now i was gonna smart object my background there and then pop a bit of a vignette in with some camera raw goodness that's what i was gonna do yeah i'll have next to little to no on there so i'm just putting a bit of vignetting on and just dropping that. There you go. Got a bit more of a focus and a bit more of a sparkle around the heart. That's all I was trying to do with a sort of a glossy contour to it on mine. Quick save. There we go. Two different ways of approaching love today. There we are. That's the stuff. Everyone dodge. The five Ds of dodgeball. Dodge, tuck, dip, dive and dodge. Man. Let me know if you're all watching that film at the weekend. We should have a watch party and dodge and burn. 
Tim with the Photoshop twist puns. Loving it. Very good. <laughs> Loads of laughter. We always get good chuckles on here, don't we, Gavin? The giggles, mate. Yeah, it's good. Let's ask Bat Tony what he thinks of today's stream. Excellent. I like it, Gavin. It's very good. Tony, more work needed. See you later. Have you watched the new Batman? Have you? Yeah, I have. Oh, yes. I dragged Mrs. Harmer to watch that early on. <laughs> you know, I thought the bad guy was more compelling than Batman. You know? It's an interest. I, li I, I like that it's going back to being things that are a bit more detective-y and gritty and real. It was very gritty, very dark. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I mean, that's that's why I kind of liked Batman in the first place, because, it, you know, somebody with no actual powers, just lots of skills and tons of money. <laughs> um, but the... Uh, yeah. And, and the comics back in the day were a bit more detective-y. You know, they were just like solving something and fisticuffs when necessary but i do like it did you enjoy it i did yeah yeah yeah, yeah. big chunks of it were filmed here you know really? just down the road yeah cardington hangars which are about uh six miles away from here um okay. big chunks that are filled there and robert patterson was seen on a number of occasions in bedford nipping uh, to get a coffee <laughs> and then he got covid <laughs> so they had to stop filming <laughs> But, uh, yes. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Russell's in the chat. Hey, Russell. Well, better late than never, buddy. We've got two minutes left. Come on. Mm -hmm. Also, looking forward to seeing you in just a few weeks in Washington, D.C. Uh, what's your superpower? I'm rich. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Spanners, ducks, handy waves, more spanners or wrenches. Hey, mate. Oh, it was your nap time perfectly brilliant oh dear you'll be napping then too what in dc oh yes i'm just looking forward to going to the smithsonian aviation i love that place so anyway moving on right i think buddy you about complete well, what, that, that, um, yeah just about I do like that highlight you've introduced there as well just a little bit just a little bit mm. it's just a tip yeah no it's nice I like it very much. Um, yes, good. Right, so uh, John Travolta was seen in Norfolk the other day. He was seen in Norfolk. He was seen uh, in a Morrison's supermarket, amongst other places, because I was in Suffolk. Cardington Hangers, home of the Flying Burn. Flying Bum. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Flying Bum. Yeah, that was there, yeah. It was. Did you know the Flying Bum, Gavin? No. No? The airship. Oh, it was epic. I'll probably know it by if I saw yeah, it. Yeah. Massive. It looked like a big bottom. <laughs> it was really good. Russell will be asleep all through his session. Uh, did anyone save, says uh, Sean. Dia's ducking again. Uh, Russell's saying, hi, Yulia Ziga. How are things? <laughs> Yulia's saying, save now. I have saved. No, I haven't. There's an asterisk in my total bar. Okay, well done. Save alert. Uh, mine's not important. I'm sort of the additional stuff. It's Gavin's that's important. Um, I'm on the balcony. <clears throat> <laughs> just look to your left Russell <laughs> uh, oh dear. Airlander 10 to give it it's a proper name I could not remember for the life of me what that was called anyway that's all well and good but we are at half past the hour any last words Gavin before we toodle off and enjoy a long Easter weekend after working tomorrow well it's been another good one I've enjoyed it it's been fun man I love it yeah. I love it I get better and better yeah, look forward to more of these. So, yeah, it's been good. Yeah. Thanks, guys, in the chat. Yes, thank you very much. Don't forget, you can go along and join our Discord if you want to chat there. Also, go and uh, search out uh, Gavin's Discord as well and look at his other projects that he's got uh, going on. If you celebrate Easter, I hope you have a great Easter. Uh, if you're still uh, in Ramadan, then Ramadan Mubarak uh, to you, uh, or Ramadan Kareem, whichever way you'd, you'd like me to say it, it's entirely up to you. Uh, if you're still doing that, but whatever you're doing, 
this weekend. Hopefully you're having a long one. Do get some rest, relaxation and recharge a bit. I hope you have a great time. But for now, from Gavin, myself and Tim in the background, saving me with my flag errors. Yeah. Have a great weekend. Take care, everyone. Bye. Yeah.